Hi, I'm James. And I'm Laurent. And this is Beatty, our cute little Pomsky. Pomskis are all the rage right now, and if you Google Pomsky, you will see hundreds of Pomsky pictures. But you'll mostly see pictures of Pomsky puppies because they're so damn cute. And if you like Pomsky puppies, you came to the right place because there will be a lot of them in this video. <laughs> but there's little out there on full-grown Pomskis. What do they look like? How do they behave? And a lot of people have a false impression of what Pomskis are like based on the ball of fur pictures they see on the internet, only to realize later that Pomskis have a very strong personality. In this video, we will walk you through everything you want to know about Pomskis. From puppyhood to adulthood. So let's go! So let's start with the basics. A Pomsky is a mix between a Pomeranian and a Husky. A Pomeranian is a toy dog that's normally between 3 and 7 pounds, while a Siberian Husky is a working dog that's normally between 40 and 60 pounds. Some Pomskis can be one quarter Husky or three quarters Husky, but most of them are 50-50, with a Husky mom and a Pomeranian dad. However, a Pomsky is never going to be exactly 50% Husky and 50% Pomeranian. When you mix two breeds that are so different in size and looks, you're really playing genetic roulette. And you may end up with a dog that is 90% Husky or a dog that is 90% Pomeranian, even within the same litter. Huskies have very specific behavioral traits. And when you get a Pomsky, you have to be ready in the event your dog ends up being 90% Husky-like. To make this video, we surveyed a lot of Pomsky owners. And the first question we asked was, how much Husky and how much Pomeranian is your Pomsky? And we broke this down into two questions. One about looks, and the other one about behavior. And the answer is that Pomskis are more Husky-like than Pomeranian-like, with owners saying their dog was more than 60% Husky, both in looks and behavior. There was obviously a wide range in responses, with some owners saying that their Pomsky was 100% like a Husky. And this is probably the most important thing to know before you get a Pomsky. You are really getting a miniature Husky. It might be smaller than a real Husky, but behavior-wise, it will come with a lot of the Husky traits both the good and the bad. <laughs> and that's really probably the biggest disconnect between the cute little ball of fur that you see on the internet and the super active dog you end up getting. As we mentioned earlier, there are a lot of pictures on the internet of Pomsky puppies. But there are a lot fewer pictures of adult Pomskis, and it's difficult to know what a grown Pomsky looks like, starting with how big they get. Yeah, weight is a question we get asked a lot. And as you can see, there is a lot of variation, with some Pomskis being as little as 10 pounds and others being as big as 40 pounds. But 15 to 30 pounds is where a lot of adult Pomskis end up. BD is 20 pounds, which is on the smaller side for a Pomsky. But in terms of look, she has a short coat and a husky tail, and she is very husky looking. She looks like a husky that shrunk in the dryer. <laughs> and behavior-wise, she is 100% husky. 100%. This little guy here is Theo. Theo is actually Beatty's cousin. He also came from Perfect Pomsky, the same breeder as Beatty. Theo is only 12 pounds, which is really as small as it gets for a grown Pomsky. He has a long coat and a fluffy Pomeranian tail, and he has a golden color that is reminiscent of a Pomeranian. And this big boy here is Rocco. Rocco is at the complete opposite end of the spectrum. He's 40 pounds, which is as big as it gets for Pomskis. A husky male is typically between 50 and 60 pounds, and a husky female is typically between 40 and 50 pounds. So 40 pounds is almost husky size. As you can see, the spectrum is really wide, from Pomeranian-looking Pomskis to more husky-looking Pomskis. Even within the same leader, there are big differences. This guy here is Simba. And Simba is one of Beatty's brothers from the same litter. And he is 31 pounds, a lot bigger than Beatty. And his coat is a lot darker than hers too. A reputable breeder should be able to tell you if your puppy is going to be more husky-like or more Pomeranian-like. Perfect Pomsky told us Beatty would be around 20 pounds and they were right on. The next section of the survey was around Pomsky's energy level. And 100% of owners agreed that Pomsky's have a lot of energy and they love to run. The American Kennel Club classifies Huskies as a working dog. And for centuries, Huskies have been bred to run and pull sled. And even though they don't pull sleds, Pomsky's also love to run. If you are looking for a lap dog that will stay with you on the couch while you're watching TV, 
then a pump ski is not the right dog for you. Your pump ski will require walks, lots of walks. And we're not talking about quick in and out walks around the block. We're talking about meaningful half an hour walks. Since we got BD, I have been averaging 12,000 steps a day and I've lost 10 pounds in the first six months after we got her. 93% of respondents agreed that Pomskis love to play. BD wants to play, play, play all the time. There are never enough toys to keep her happy. And she doesn't play on her own for very long. She demands attention and wants us to play with her. Like every dog, Pomskis do sleep most of the day. And they sleep in the weirdest positions. It's really funny to watch. But they are clearly active dogs that require active owners. Pomskis are very social animals and they're great with other dogs. While Pomeranians can sometimes be aloof and scared of bigger dogs, Huskies on the other hand are pack animals. And when it comes to playing with other dogs, Pomskis tend to be more husky-like than Pomeranian-like. BD clearly wants to be part of the pack and she needs lots of doggy playtime. Pomskis are also great with strangers and want to meet everybody. That's what makes them bad guard dogs. If someone broke into our house, BD would want to say hi and play with them. And most Pomskis are great with kids, although not 100% of owners agreed with that last point. Huskies have some very specific behavioral traits, and Pomskis share some of the same traits. And not all of them are desirable. <laughs> No, the first trait mentioned by 90% of Pomsky owners is digging. Pomskis don't just like to dig, they love to <laughs> dig. If gardening is your hobby and you take pride in your beautiful flower beds, then a Pomsky is probably not the right dog for you. This was our backyard when we first got BD, and this was our backyard six months later. <laughs> Pomskis dig and dig and dig. And we have counted up to 10 holes in our small backyard. But the one place where BD refuses to dig is her sandbox. Have you been digging, baby? Have you been digging? Another fact about pump skis that is not surprising is that they love the snow. BD has loved the snow from the first day she saw it. She loves to play in it. She loves to eat it. <laughs> Winters are pretty cold where we live in Chicago, but we've never seen her getting cold and wanting to come back inside. It's actually quite the opposite. Sometimes she just wants to sleep outside and we have to drag her back inside. Another thing we get asked a lot is how much do Pomskis bark? And the answer is not too much actually. Pomskis are not big barkers. Beatty barks when she's upset or scared, but that's not very often. However, their bark is a weird mix between barking and howling. It's known as the Pomsky scream. And that's something they clearly get from their husky side. And thank God she doesn't bark a lot because her little puppy bark sounds absolutely ridiculous. The jury's still out on whether Pomskis are more or less destructive than other breeds of dogs, but definitely anything can be turned into a game, including trash. Another thing we get asked a lot is whether Pomskis shed. And the answer is yes, <laughs> a lot. A lot. Both Pomeranians and Huskies shed, therefore a Pomsky sheds too. We have to brush BD regularly, especially in the spring and in the fall. And when we do, we have enough fur to make another puppy. Yeah. <laughs> Pomskis have a strong personality, and it is difficult to generalize because Huskies and Pomeranians are so different. Some of the survey responses may seem contradictory, so we'll do our best to explain the subtleties. First of all, 93% of owners agreed that Pomskis are smart dogs. Their brains need to be occupied, otherwise they get bored, and that's when they tend to get into trouble and puzzles are a great way to keep them occupied. 96% of Pomsky owners say that they were easily trainable, but the wording of the question may have been a little bit misleading. Pomskis are trainable, but they're not easily trainable. And two thirds of the survey respondents had had other dogs before, so they already had experience with training a dog. But BD knows to sit before crossing the road. And after a few unsuccessful attempts, we've managed to teach her not to go to the patch of grass we're trying to regrow in the backyard. In the long run, they end up being obedient, but in the short run, Pomskis can be stubborn at times. BD is like, I understand what you're asking, Daddy, because I'm a smart girl, but I don't want to make it easy for you. That is clearly a Husky trait. And since there are many more videos about Huskies than about Pomskis, you may want to watch Husky training videos if you want to learn more. And unless you have 20 acres in the middle of the woods, off-leash is a big no-no for Pomskis. Huskies are like little Houdinis, and Pomskis are no different.
Once you realize that pump skis are not the little ball of fur that you see on the internet and that they require a lot of care, they are a great dog for a variety of people. They're great for couples and they're great for single people. As long as they're active and willing to play with their pump ski and take them out to burn energy. And if you crate them during the day, which you probably should because pump skis cannot be trusted to be left unsupervised for a whole day, then you definitely need to spend more playtime with them when you get back home. Because pump skis are pack animals, they'll be a great companion for families that already have another dog. And because they love children and love to play, pump skis are also great for families with kids. Although pump skis are great dogs that we would highly recommend getting, they are not the right dog for everybody. Only 10% of pump ski owners would recommend a pump ski for an elderly person. They're just very demanding and playful dogs that need owners who can match their energy level. Pump ski owners also didn't recommend a pump ski in a hot climate. As we said earlier, pump skis love the snow. They are at their best when the weather is cold. And we've seen a noticeable change in BD's energy level as soon as the temperature reaches 70 degrees. And only 50% of pump ski owners recommend having a pump ski in a small apartment. Pump skis are not big dogs, and you don't need a mansion to have a pump ski, so having a pump ski in an apartment is not impossible. It's just that if you don't have a backyard, you will need to go on even more walks and find a park where your pump ski can run. 84% of respondents to our survey said that their pump ski was what they expected. Although 84% is a high number, it still means that 16% ended up with a dog that wasn't exactly what they expected. So our final advice is that you need to do your research before you get a pump ski. A pump ski lives between 12 and 15 years. It is a long-term commitment that will last a lot longer than the few weeks when your pump ski looks like the cute little puppies you see on the internet. We hope this video was helpful in informing you about the pros and cons of having a pump ski. But we also hope that you watch other videos about pump skis, as well as videos about huskies. Yes, pump skis are just as cute as advertised. But they also demand a lot of care. And because of their husky lineage, they're not nearly as lovey-dovey as their cute looks might imply. But most of the pump ski owners we surveyed said they wouldn't change their pump ski for the world, and that all the care they require is all worth it. And we want to give a huge thanks to all the pump ski owners who made this video possible by providing pictures of their pump ski pooches. We will put links to all their social media in the description box below. All of them post new pictures regularly, and you'll get an endless flow of new Pomsky pics. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and put your comments in the comment section below. And if you have other questions about Pomskis we did not answer in this video, put them in the comment section below. We'll try to answer as many as we can. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, we're going to put a link right here. Be sure to click the bell if you want to see our latest videos. And if you want to watch our other videos, we're going to put one right here and another one right here. Bye. bye. BD says bye. Bye.